Hey guys, Crewman here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the AK400 and the 400 digital model. I'm going to be using my test bench right here as I need to upgrade the cooler. I have a 5800X 3D on this, and I wanted to see the CPU temperatures, so I bought this because it is a fantastic cooler from Deepcool. And I haven't seen an install video, so I'm going to show you how to install the AK400 on your AM4 socket PC because I think this is a perfect companion. Now, the box is different than I remember, but let's get it out of the box. We pull it out of the foam, it's packed pretty well. Um, comes with the box of the tools you need, and the thing I really, really like is you don't have to apply thermal paste because it's on here. I've used their thermal paste and it works just fine. You need the following. <clears throat> so we're gonna pull this out, right? It's actually really nice. Uh, you're going to need this, you are not going to need this, and you are going to need these for the AMD uh, bracket. So you don't need anything in here, any of the blacks, any of the black ones, and you don't need this as well. Let me show you how to get this installed in the C motherboard. Okay, so one thing that you do need, and I would recommend building this, I'm gonna build this on my test bench just because it's easier for me, but I would recommend building this on a box because you need the back plate that came with the motherboard and they come with all motherboards. This is one of the only negatives of the AM4 platform. So I'm just gonna hold it. So you're gonna take these four pieces right here and you're gonna to wanna to put them in your motherboard. Uh, you just kind of push them in like so and they should fit snugly. There's really no right or wrong way to put them in. Just kinda, you might have to flip them over. Um, just get them in so that they're secure. It's quite annoying actually when you're having to hold the motherboard up, but this is a, not a hard CPU to install, or cooler to install. So they're in now, hold on, let me, Put this back on my bench so it's in now you see right there so then you want to take this piece and you want to lay it flat like so so it will look like that all right then what you want to do is you want to take your screwdriver i would still recommend holding this down until you get the first screw in and you want to screw it into place like so you're going to do it four times it doesn't really matter which side you put on the top or on the bottom but you want to make sure when you screw this in that it's snug and once you get one in you shouldn't have to hold the back plate anymore as it will just secure the rest of it see like like so okay now your life will be a lot easier all right so then all you gotta do is install the next three <laughs> like so i'm really excited to get this cooler on here uh, this chip, so you guys know, is a 5800X3D. It is the best chip for gaming on AM4, and I think it's still one of the best gaming CPUs uh, that you could buy for how cheap it is. Now, you know, I would, and I think the AK400 Digital is the perfect cooler to pair for it with it. All right. Again, this video is not sponsored by Deepcool. I did pay for this one with my own money. I just, I love their products so much and they are a sponsor of my channel. They are, but this video was not. All right, so now that we have the bracket on, now we have to attach the cooler. Now, some of this doesn't, if you have a non-digital model, this step doesn't really apply to you. If you do, keep watching the step. So you see the wire right there? That wire has to face the RAM so that when you are looking at the digital sensors, it does not look, or it's not upside down. So essentially you take this, you take it, you put it on and you screw one side in first and then you screw the other side in for a second. And it is important that you line them up with the, the bracket, obviously. So you screw them in a little bit, just enough to make sure that they're secure. Now you see it's secure. So essentially what you do now is you go, you tighten it a little bit on one side and then on the other side because you want it to have, uh, you want it, you want the cooler to be even with the pad, like have a good connection with the um, the CPU or it's not gonna cool properly. So you just go every other until it can't tighten it, you can't tighten it anymore. Now you don't wanna squeeze too hard. Uh, so it's just essentially once you, once you get a little bit of resistance, you stop. So as you can see there, I got resistance. So now it's in. 
So next, you just want to take the um, the fan and, and put it back on. You can theoretically attach it any way you want. You want to plug the uh, the fan into CPU underscore uh, fan. It'll say that on most motherboards. I haven't seen one where it doesn't say it. And you want to get that in. And then you are almost done. So if you were using a non-digital model, this would be basically the end of the installation and you would be finished. But now we have the digital parts of this. Now we have to do, there's two more wires we have to get. The first one is, there is, see this three uh, pin wire? There's two sides. There's like the male and the female. You basically just have to plug them into each other. And once they're plugged in, you can hide them behind your motherboard, wire them up wherever you see fit. Uh, you know, I just, like I said, this is a test bench, so I'm just sliding it right under my motherboard. So once that is done, you just have one more cable. Now this one goes into the USB uh, header. Now you can see when I showed it to you, there was one pin missing and there should be one pin missing on the area on your motherboard. Uh, most motherboards have one or two of these and you should be able to slide it in no problem. If you're hitting resistance or if it's not fitting properly, then something is wrong. Like I said, there is one pin missing and there's right there, you see? And that same pin should be missing on the USB slot you should plug it into. Now you can plug it into any one you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you again so that there's no confusion. So I'm essentially just going to run this under my test bench and uh, slide it in. And then once I get that in, we are basically finished. Uh, again, this is one of those things that could be a little bit of a pain to wire up. It also depends on your case. This is where you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. And you can see I'm just running it under my open air test bench. So we're doing that right now. Uh, and uh, as you can see right here, I just, I'm getting it under and we're going to get it plugged in right now. And it doesn't matter which one you put it in, by the way, um, just put it in the one that works best in your situation, assuming you have more than one. Okay, so it's in and now I'm finished. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this install guide. You can see the 5800X 3D working right now with the Deepcool AK400 Digital, 66 degrees. I am running a stress test on it and I've been running it for a while, so I've been pushing the CPU and the GPU reasonably hard and you can see how it would look if it was installed in your tower. So thank you again for watching this video. This is a fantastic cooler that I would recommend for any AM4 CPU up to the 5950. I wouldn't recommend it for the 5950X. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, Croupman.